Okay, so the next question we are asked here is state whether the given measurements determine 0, 1, or 2 triangles. So it's giving us some values, and we have to determine how many triangles these values represent. So the first value we're given is C. C, and this is an angle, so we'll say capital C, is equal to 30 degrees. The next uh, component we're given is A is equal to 32. And then the last component is C equals 16. So these values represent um, the sides of the triangle. So one side is, is C. Let me just write this clearly. One side is equal to 16. The opposite angle is 30 degrees. And then the A is representing another side. So this question is asking you to use kind of sine law to determine um, how many triangles you can get from these um, given values. So knowing uh, the sine rule, sine rule is sine A over A is equal to sine B over B, which is equal to sine C over C. So this would be for the following triangle, regardless of what the angle is. So we would say that if this was angle A, B, C, then the length, the ops length, A, C, B. So that's kind of the sine law formula um, outlined for that triangle. So the first thing we can do right away, we recognize that we're given AC. So we're given this variable and this variable, and we're also given the angle C, C. So we can right away see that we can use sine A over A equal to sine C over C to solve for the angle A. So doing that, we'll say sine A over A, which is 32, is equal to sine C, which is 30 degrees, divided by C, which is 60. Okay, solving for this, we get sine A equals, so if we, if we multiply both sides by 32, we would get uh, sine A on the left side, and then we get 32 over 16. 32 over 16 times sine 30. So we know 32 over 16 is just 2. And sine 30, if we plug that in our calculator, we get a half. Another way to know what the value of sine 30 is, is to know the special triangle. So the special triangles are as follows. So we have one, two, three, three. There's a right angle. And then here we have 30 degrees. And then here we have 60 degrees. So this is one of the special triangles. Um, this is just root three. And essentially using Soka Toa. Um, so here we're going for sine. So we'd say SOH. So H, so opposite, one over hypotenuse, two, we get a half. So this is just a shortcut way to do it instead of using a calculator. Okay, so continuing with the solution, this would give us sine A equals to one. We know sine A is equal to one. Uh, so if, if you would guess at this, it would either be zero or 90. Uh, and then you can uh, do the inverse of sine one, but the the common value for sine, uh, uh, sine A equal to one is uh, 90 degrees. So here we would say A is equal to 90 degrees. So right away, we know this is a right angle triangle. So let me just, Clear out some of the. Let me just reset the page here. 
So we solve that A is equal to 90 degrees. And we know it's given that C, so angle A, and angle C is equal to 30 degrees. So knowing that for all triangles, the sum of the angles has to equal um, 180 degrees, we know that 180 is equal to angle A, which is 90, plus angle C, which is 30, plus angle B, so plus angle B. So if we just solve for this, so 90 plus 30 is 120 is equal to 180 plus angle B. And then subtracting 120 from both sides of the equation, we get 60 equals to angle B. So uh, this is the exact um, triangle that is the special triangle where the angles are 90, 30, and 60. So knowing this, we can also find um, the uh, equation for uh, the, the final uh, length, which is B. So we still have B is the unknown because we've solved for A and we already have A and C. So there's, there's a couple of ways to do this. Uh, you could just go right away and just use the sine uh, formula from the beginning. So sine B over B is equal to sine C over C. So sine B is sine 60 over B, which is unknown, is equal to sine C, which is sine 30 over 16. So we isolate for B. Let me just clear up some of the space up top. We isolate for B, so we'd say B. So we just switch, um, we multiply both sides by B. So to get rid of the term B and put B on the other side. So we have, uh, let's keep, actually, let's keep this over here. So we have sine 60 still is equal to B over 16 times sine 30. And then we just have to move all that stuff to the other side. So we have 16. So we multiply both sides by 16 to get rid of the 16, sine 60, and then divide both sides by sine 30 to get rid of the sine 30, sine 30, and then we just have B on the right side. So you can do this by plugging in, plugging this into your calculator, or you can also um, uh, do, use the special triangles. So we have here 1, 2, root 3 is a right angle, and we have 30 and 60. Sorry, no, that's backwards. So we have 30 over here and 60. So sine 60, so opposite is root 3 over hypotenuse, so root 3 over 2, so we have 16. Sixteen root three over two, and then we have the sine thirty, which is uh, opposite over hypotenuse, so one over two. So because we have one over two on the bottom, sine thirty is one over two, so this is divided by one over two. So we just flip this when we're dividing to figure out the solution. We just flip it and multiply. So we would have sixteen root three over two times 2 so times 2 so we get rid of the 2's and then we have 16 root 3 equals b so that's the final component of the triangle so the final answer is kind of the values of the triangle is uh, for the triangle specified as b is equal to 16 uh, times root 3 and then the rest of the given values and we know angle C from before is 
uh, 30 degrees and we solve for our angle A, which is 90 degrees, and we also solve for our angle B, which is 60 degrees. So looking at the solution presented, um, it outlines a similar uh, format and the solution is correct. So excellent solution is correct. Thank <laughs> you.